Hey everyone, this is Tom from Montac here, and we are back at it again with another video, but this is going to be the round two of the annual championship tournament, the inaugural ACT, and we have got ourselves Lucky versus Diamond Deploy, both coming off of wins in their round one matchups. Joining me today, we've also got Mini Smoke, former champion, coming in to do some commentary with myself. How are you doing, sir? And also... So, one of your guys here, Lucky, one of your picks, is in this matchup. How do you think they'll do, and are you excited for this matchup? Hello, Tom. Hello, everyone. And we we finally seeing the good matchups right now, because now everyone here has already proved itself. Mm -hmm. Now we have a really, really, very, really competitive match here. So, exciting mm -hmm. to see. 100%. And we're kicking it off with a Book of Almond Cat from Diamond D players. They take the first turn. Roll of six. This is going to be very interesting to see how Almond Cat is going to do. It looks like this is going to be an Almond Cat versus Earphone setup. Now, um, I know we talked about that in our ACT uh, round table, where you talked about the revival stats of Lucky being an absolute problem. Yes. However, when you're having to take on uh, Book of Almond Cat, which is uh, not necessarily reliant on winning the conflict, but rather getting the counters. Do you think that's going to be an issue for Lucky? Yeah, I think so. Like, Omcats are one of the few strategies that can bypass defensive play because you don't necessarily have to attack, attack, attack to win in wound, mm. to win the game. So if both, both players stall the game, Omcats um, will win in the end, so one mm. of the harder matchups for Lucky. 100%, and it's Diamond who's got a lot to prove. They were the number one seed in this tournament, and yet they weren't really the first pick of anybody to actually win. They haven't yet won any major competitions. They definitely, they definitely did come first in the division skirmish, but it wasn't necessarily a title event. So, um... It's, this is a big moment for Diamond to see if they can prove to be undefeated. Yeah, for Diamond, I think it's more the format changes that wasn't able to get in a lot of titles, because now mm. we have a unified rankings instead of divisions and stuff. Mm. And, and plus, the more matches that Diamond played over the weekends, I think, it's a big factor mm. that made him the very top seeds of this tournament. 100%. So we got a roll of six to start. Great start for Diamond. They've gone full. Three monsters on the board. You can only have up to three in play at a time, of course, unless you have some sort of ability setting. Otherwise, we've got Lucky, who is starting a turn. We've got Clytus. Uh, looks like a roll of three. So this does restrict them a little bit, but not really too much at all be honest, when you can see are uh, typically in that three or below range. Sending a Black King's Rebirth. Interesting. Ooh! Are they popping the cursed one? Yes. Gain back the power. Hmm. Okay, so interesting it's that, curved. Mm. Interesting that Diamond doesn't went for the double pet setup to get four counters. True. Out of the bed. I do wonder why that is. Maybe he's trying to save it for later. Earphones right off the bat. Lucky opening up some really good cards. Um, obviously, that does also happen with the aid of Clytus, allowing him to add any deck, any card from the deck to the hand. Um, definitely great stuff from both players. Two counters in book. Ooh. Oh, snap. Oh my gosh, turtle tank. Oh my god. That turtle tank. That was nasty. Oh. That especially like during the prep stage to select an enemy monster in play and drop it by 300 multiplied by the class roll, which totals 900 power drop. If that drops the monster's power to zero, it perishes. And if it perishes, turtle tank gains a thousand. Wow, it's a great counter wow. right off. Diamond. Diamond Woo! really came prep up for this matchup. Oh my god. That was ruthless. That yes, was ruthless. Indeed. But now yes. Diamond has another problem. 
Lucky can bring mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. his earphones, but does That's Diamond true. can bring back his turtle? I know there is mm. a second one, but mm. you never know. He does have the ability now, obviously, to sacrifice four health points and remove Rampage. That is a lot of words there, guys, so don't blame me if you don't want to read that. But um, they can sacrifice four health to remove Rampage from the field. Um, I just don't know if Diamond has enough health points in that Omen Cat deck to make that feasible. We're going for the secondary cat. Um, for those watching, cat allows you to play out more monsters that are Omen Cats. Um, and it also adds two counters to the book. Once the book reaches 15 counters, this will reach the Omen Ultimate win con giving Diamond Deploy the win. But we're a long way away from that. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Clytus still. 1500 is a good stat line here. It's now dropped back to 1000. Goodness. I mean, as much as it definitely a lot hurt to, to lose ear friends that quickly, he um, did a great job of dealing with that turtle tank. Um, it's just a shame that Diamond couldn't keep it a lot longer. Yes, indeed. And another count to the book. And going for an attack. This will only uptick if it is resolved. So under the new rulings, um, the book will only gain a counter if the attack is actually resolved. So if Lucky lets this through, it will add a counter. If he doesn't, it will not add a counter. So it's good to be aware of that. Let's see how this goes. Lucky looking at a second deck as well. Um, this is interesting. This is lethal, by the way. Like, we, we are kind of not actually looking at this. This is lethal. We've got nine attacks on board. Uh, looks like eight left to go, and Lucky's on five health. Could this be it? Do you think this is already over? Mm, by the looks of the parish pile and its condition, but... This could be it. I mean, Lucky could have another Elder. Oh, unknown perpetrator. Two class, two below monsters of perish, and thanks to the two cats, it actually does allow him to play that. Yes. Wow. Okay, that is really lucky. And you know what perpetrator is gonna do? When perpetrator perishes, allows him to revive a class, uh, two or below monsters from the perish pile, so he'll get back earphones. Yeah. That but, is nasty. But to go true, but okay, so diamond will. Could probably crash one of those, one of those monsters because there is a cursed one. True, right? cursed one. You're right. It doesn't. You are right. Here. Great counters to earphones here. So we're gonna have vicious one. And remember that unknown perpetrator's 500 stat line. It will allow Lucky to revive earphones. It makes you wonder why is Lucky not removing that Starlet Wrath. Because yeah. now there's just multi attack going wild. Yeah, now Diamond can crash and still have six attacks, I think, for the lead. Mm. Mm. This is nasty. I was very surprised that Lucky doesn't have a, a counter at this stage. Uh, although is... I don't remember what the roll was. I think there it must have been four. Th there isn't like that card that you can play. Class three is on or below from your deck. It's a red tech. True cacophony. 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 Yeah, for sure. Which is, I know, here. for sure, is in Lucky's deck. It's just, did he draw it? Is a good question. Be one of those answers for this situation right now. This is looking dicey for Lucky. And remember, there isn't a second copy or perpetrator because of the rules of the mm -hmm. asset. Of the True. Attack. He's gonna have to rely on something different. I do wonder what's uh, what's the hold up with Diamond. I wonder what he's thinking of. Maybe he has a way to out it. Maybe. Oh, he's, he's sacking the four for earphones out rampage, which means earphones is now zero stat line. Oh boy! This this game there is like six, six attacks, attacks remaining. Lucky holding out, trying to survive. This could be it, everybody. Has Diamond clinched it up within the first... I don't even know how long we've been going. This is another, what, five, six minutes? Jeepers. This might be it, guys. Three turns in. 
this could be it for Rocky. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, this diamond is the new Batman here. He can prepare for <laughs> everything. I know, he definitely hard counted that earphones. Let's see, looking into second deck for Lucky or Asset Pile, I should really say. I mean, even if Lucky could get a way out um, of so the for... situation... Mm, so for reference, Unknown Perpetrator, yeah, required two or below monsters that are class two or below to have perished. Um, he doesn't have another one of those, but he may have another... He may have something. Um, he's got two Savage types in the Perish Pile. He's got three Fighters in the Perish Pile. He could have access to Arathor, if he has Arathor in the deck. I would think he'd have to, right? Yeah, I think so, because he can bring back the... Unless he sided it out. This could be it, everybody. Six attacks on board. Diamond looking very nasty at this point. Is this how we say... Or is this how we're introduced to Diamond on... Uh, on the competitive level, this will be really scary oh, right now. Just figuring out what they're gonna do. Yes, and that is legal because of the uh, greedy one. No, what is the? Mm. It is the mischievous one. It is indeed an igneous type in the parish. Have parish. Well, there we go. Wildfire warrior. Okay, so wildfire warrior, igneous type monster, one of the fire type ones that have perished. So it actually can count the mythic igneous from mischievous one of Almond Cat Tail. Yeah, it does drop in power though, but it's it's not too bad. It's during either player's turn you can make two cards extinct, and since two cards are how many cards work? Each extinct card in your parish pile, so yeah, they can make two. They the quietness. It's not enough though to get a boost out of him. At this yeah. stage, it looks like it's just a body. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't count the the diamond extinct file, so it's mm, unfortunately not. Yeah. So it looks like if Lucky doesn't sack the health here, I think you gotta get rid of Star Wrath, don't you? At this point, I think only vicious one attacked. So if if he sacked the four, he could. Yeah. There's oh my god! That is, that is game. Oh Holy smokes! Way. And that is it. Diamond pulls off the win. Thank you guys for watching. This was round two of the ACT. Lucky pulls off. Well, actually, sorry. Diamond pulls off a very quick win there. Congratulations, Diamond. They move on to the next round. And uh, Jeepers, that was fast. That was brutal. And this was Mini Smoke. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tom. Have a good day.